Welcome back everyone to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in today's episode we will be talking about level streaming. So what is level streaming? This tool basically allows us to load up only specific parts of the game world uh, so that we would save a little bit of a memory on the PC and this way basically we can hide some unnecessary things that maybe are not visible to the player from the position where the player is actually located. Uh, this is going to be like a two-part video. In this video we're going to be talking about level streaming and in the following video we shall also talk about world composition which comes in hand to hand with the level streaming but in the world composition level streaming is sort of built in a little bit more uh, than here because this way that the, the method that I'm going to be showing in this video uh, requires a little bit of a more work but this method probably is still going to be relevant with Unreal Engine 5 but with Unreal Engine 5 as, as much as I understand then the world composition is not going to be available there anymore. So the first thing that I want to do is go to the windows and I want to enable the levels panel. So now we have the levels panel available to us. So uh, right now, technically we are in the persistent level. So this is technically the persistent level. And if we double click it, well then, yeah, that's basically our active level as long as it is blue. Now let's go ahead and let's create ourselves a new map. And I'm going to create an empty level for this. And for this, I'm actually going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this level streaming, stream in, eh, whatever. And I'm going to call this new map 001 and I'm going to save that. Now, automatically this adds this and as soon as we add a new map, then on the right side, bottom corner, we're going to be able to see the selected actor in which map is the selected actor and also which is the active level that we are working in. In the default project, the active map is always the map that's inside of here in the third person blueprint folder and that map is called third person example map. And we also added this new map 001. Now to switch between those, just simply double click and you will instantly see that you are working in a different level. What I mean by working in a different level. So for example, if we now activate new map and let's say we want to add some kind of a geometry to this. So let's actually go to the started content and see instead. And let's, let's add a couple of meshes. So we have added those, the active level is new map. And if we hide this, we can no longer see that. Uh, but if, for example, we have another map, so let's create ourselves another map. And this is gonna be new map 002. Let's say we made a mistake. We don't want these objects to be in the new map one. Instead, we want them to be in the new map two. So what you wanna do is activate first the level in which you want these objects to be in and then select these objects, press Ctrl X and then Ctrl V and it's going to cut them out and paste them in the other map. And now you can see if we hide this, the objects get hidden. If we hide this, nothing really happens. So what I'm going to do is actually in the new map one, I'm going to create some different models. So I'm going to add these pillars. Uh, so if I drag it out, it's going to say the actor will be placed outside the bounds of the current level. I'm going to uh, press OK because I'm just fine with that because I am expanding the bounds of this, of this specific level right now. So I'm going to bring this out. Here we go. Here we go. So we have six objects in the new map one and three objects in the new map two. Now, if we press play, we can't really see them. They are unloaded because we have no real actual rules set up uh, when to load these levels. So what we can do is go to our place actors and we can look for a streaming volume. So let's bring in the streaming volume and it's going to say that it's out of bounds. That's OK. But the issue is we don't want to place this in the new map one. Instead, we want to make this inside of our persistent level uh, because otherwise, if we hide the new map one, it's going to hide this volume as well. So technically, this volume is pretty much useless because we need this volume in order to load up those uh, models. So what I'm going to do is first move this one over here make sure this is big enough because our character needs to step inside of this area in order for these models to be loaded so i'm going to place it roughly around here so this is going to be 
pretty good enough and I'm gonna rename this so that it is easier for me to find the streaming volume and I'm gonna call this SV uh, map 1 and then I'm going to duplicate the streaming volume to over here and this is the SV map 2 now we need to actually assign these streaming volumes to something because as you can see as of right now we can just run around and still nothing really happens. So what we want to do is actually go up here to this. We want to summon the level details. And as soon as we do that, we get this panel right here, which I'm going to move down here. And this thing right here allows us to actually assign the streaming volumes to a specific map. So what I'm going to do is go to the streaming volumes and I'm going to add one element. And then in this element, we need to select our streaming volume. So I'm going to work first with the map one. So I'm going to select the SV map one cannot add level streaming volume, which is not in the persistent level, as you can see. So let me double check this. Now, if I select it, it's going to say to me that it is the new map 01. So I'm going to control X, control V to move it to the persistent third person level map. And now I'm going to be able to select this. There we go. Now, to make sure that we actually load the correct map, as you can see, it already selected for me by default, the new map 001. For you, maybe it hasn't. Uh, the issue for that could be the inspect level selection. You got to make sure that you select the correct level. So for 001, I'm going to be using this streaming volume and you can actually add multiple. And I'm going to show you that with the other map. So I'm going to select the new map 002. And for this one, I'm going to add two streaming volumes. So I'm going to add the map one and map two streaming volumes. And once our character walks into any of these, it's going to display the new map two. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's let's give it a go. So if you press play, nothing is visible. If we walk into this area, there we go. You can see these models are getting loaded. And the thing is that uh, the loading is going to happen based on the camera's location. So if we move the camera out, you will see the levels unload. But as soon as the camera goes in, it loads in. So make sure you set it up like for your camera, not the character, because the character can be in the area. But if the camera is not in the area, then we can't see the objects. Now I'm going to walk over here and as you can see, both levels got loaded because this streaming volume that we are in uh, is set up to load both levels. So as you saw, the area was pretty small. So obviously in your project, you're going to want to make this way bigger like this. So you can actually uh, load it from a distance rather than uh, being just straight inside of it. You want to make it bigger. And yeah, that's basically how the level streaming works. Uh, pretty quick and simple, nothing really difficult about it. You just got to remember a few things that you keep your uh, streaming volumes in your persistent level and then you add your extra levels, move the detail to those levels and then click on the summons level details and then in the level details, select the map that you want to stream and then assign the streaming volumes to that specific map. So yeah, that's going to be it uh, for today's video. And in the next one, we are going to be talking about the world composition, which is well still going to be used in Unreal Engine 4. But yeah, from what I've what I've heard so far, it's no longer going to be available in the Unreal Engine 5. But it's still probably a good idea to look into this uh, mechanic overall and understand why would you want to do this and how it's supposed to work because there probably is going to be something in Unreal Engine 5 that is going to replace the world composition because I don't really see uh, it not that thing not existing at all but it's probably going to be called different and it's going to work a little bit different as well so yeah thank you for watching make sure to subscribe join my discord subscribe to my patreon and I see you in the next one